Hello everyone, CapM here, and today I want to get into one key indicator that many people aren't talking about that will show us that the market is about to turn more bearish and why you shouldn't hold stocks till the end of the week. Also, if you'd like to sign up for three free stocks when you sign up for Weeble and Robinhood, check out the link in the description below. So, looking at the charts over here of the S&P 500, we see that we capitulated down, we bounced up here, we fell further, and we're currently trading at this price over here. Yesterday, we see that the market had a very big intraday swing. So knowing that, we've, we opened up 7% up and we closed all of our gains back. Now, this is a very bearish candle in technical analysis. And I'm going to show you what key indicator right now that we see that tells us that this is kind of a market top for now. So we're clearly seeing a bearish divergence in the chart. For those of you that don't know what a bearish divergence is, a bearish divergence indicates underlying weakness found during retracements in a downtrend. So we're seeing weakness in the price action of the S&P 500 because I use the stochastic over here. The stochastic is being bought up right now. We're seeing more buyers but the price of the S&P 500 is still trading lower than it was in this area. So this over here is a bearish divergence. And also we're kind of seeing a slow decrease of volume. I mean, an increase here, but overall a bit of a decrease from our capitulation. So right now, what people need to know is that this is a very bearish indicator that is kind of going to help us time the market where the market has not bottomed yet. So I think the market has not bottomed overall. And one price target that I think the market can bottom at is if we take our flagpole extrapolation over here and we go from the top of this bounce to the bottom of the move over here and we bring it to the top of this bounce here. So I think the market will ultimately bottom around this $1,800 mark which aligns perfectly with this previous um, low over here on February 16th and our 200-day exponential moving average. So I think this would be a great bottom target for the S&P 500. So many charts, if you look around the, uh, the equity markets, have similar patterns. So for instance, if we go and look at Apple, and Apple is a great chart that shows us, and you guys should look at the video from yesterday that will show what uh, price target I'm looking at for Apple and where I see an area of confluence where you can start buying Apple. So Apple has a similar chart pattern if we go on the daily. And we see here that Apple fell down, bounced up here, got rejected by the 20 exponential moving average, fell back, and we're getting rejected by the 50 exponential moving average. And we're having a similar pattern play out here where we have this, again, strength in buying, but no strength in the price. What we would like to see if we were being more bullish over here is create a higher high on the price action with, uh, with uh, coinciding with this higher high on the stochastic. So that would be a very bullish um, indicator too, to tell us that the market would go higher. But again, Apple over here, falling to this low, bouncing up. And let's just take out of curiosity this flagpole extrapolation over here to the low, grab it over here. And again, we're lining up with previous support over here. So I think, again, even for Apple, you know, it's, it's a very clear indicator. For a more in-depth technical analysis, look at yesterday's video, but over here we're seeing similar, similar patterns. So overall, don't hold stocks into the rest of this week and maybe for the next few weeks, but we'll see what happens. But based off of the charts right now, things are very bearish. So please like and subscribe. If you like the content, let me know some stocks down in the comment section below that you'd like me to take a look at. And thank you for watching. Have a great one.